Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my UE4 tutorials. Um, let's see. So where we left off, we had a chicken. If we play our game here, we can see we can walk, we can run, we can aim, we can shoot, or we can shoot fast. Uh, I changed this to be slow, I was messing around a little bit. Um, today, I want to twerk on a system that makes it so the player can't just kind of run around like crazy. Infinitely at least. Uh, so that's what we're going to work on. Uh, if we have time at the end, I'll also get on to displaying it on the screen so the player can see it. But let's just get right into playing it. And I'm going to have the project I have set up set up. Project I have set up on the right so I can see it. Cool. Cool. So first things first. Well, we already know how to sprint. We can already sprint. Um, but we're going to have to add some stuff to that, our sprinting logic. This is shoot, um, sprinting, okay. So as of right now, you can see we just kind of sprint. We just kind of change our walk speed. We don't have any conditions that we have to meet. So for this, um, we're going to need a new variable, a new boolean can sprint now here uh, in our when we get this we're going to want a branch based off of if we can sprint so we'll get this we haven't set this or anything yet by default make sure it's true so that the first time you do it you can sprint which is usually the case um, and if we can't sprint, we're going to come down here and say, set the speed back to normal. That's all I needed to do there for now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now we're going to have to add some things to tick, which I don't like to do, but I feel like it's appropriate for this. I'll comment these. Toggle weapon. I'll move shoot closer to left mouse button press because I have to add a lot of stuff to tick. Now we're just going to work in the event graph for now. I need to add an output for next that will be execution because we'll be going on tick. Uh, also if we don't change the actor rotation, we also want to go on to this. Cool. So now, uh, first things first. Do we have stamina yet? We don't. So we're going to want uh, two variables. We're going to want stamina. I guess I'll, I'll say current stamina, which is going to be a float. And we can put this in the movement category. I'm going to add a lot of stuff to movement. Uh, sprinting, moving, walk speed, uh, run speed, current speed, can sprint. I like all the booleans at the top and floats on the bottom. Okay, so um, now that we have all this set up, our oh, we need one more variable called max stamina, uh, which will be in movement. The default value will be 100. So our player has 100 stamina. So first, each tick, we want to branch and make sure that our current stamina is greater than zero. Boom. So um, if our stamina is not greater than zero, then we need to set some things. We need to um, there's an event we're going to set up later, but for now we can set um, can sprint to false. 
So now each tick, it'll check whether we have uh, enough stamina to run. And if we don't, he can't sprint. Now if he can, I'm going to make another branch. And we need two conditions here. Well, we need to mix two. We need to make sure he's moving. We need to make sure he's sprinting. Let's get both of these. And we're going to need an AND operator. So just type AND, it should be selected. So if he's moving and he's sprinting, we're going to want to do some other stuff. Make sense? Cool. All right. So if he is sprinting and he is moving, then we want to set our current stamina. Um, to the current stamina minus that's times uh, subtraction there it is minus this degen value so I'll set it to 0.5 for now so each tick when he is sprinting and he is moving so you can't just hold shift um, he will lose 0.5 of his current stamina. I'm just looking to see what else I did. And if he isn't moving or he isn't sprinting, um, then we can regen our stamina. So we're going to get our current stamina, we're going to set it. And this value is going to be a little bit weird. Um, we need to get our current stamina and we need to add, not a vector, add uh, a region value. Uh, we can put this in a variable later, but for now I'm just going to type in like 0.1. And uh, we need to clamp this, which means we're going to limit it. Um, so the value we're clamping is our current stamina plus whatever, and it's going to max out at our max stamina. And it, because we're going to be changing our max stamina, it's going to be good practice to put it in there. If we have like an item that makes our stamina higher, or if we have stats that levels it up. Um, and then since this means he can't sprint, if this is running, um, we're going to make a delay for uh, five seconds. And then after that delay, we will set can sprint to true. So we can go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. Um, see if I can get everything in a better position. There, the stuff can move up. It doesn't really matter if it goes through that execution. We're going to be adding stuff down here. Um, so I do need this to move down. All right, that looks pretty good for now. OK, so now um, if he can't sprint, we're also going to need a new event. And this event is going to be in our other sprinting logic. And it's uh, Add custom event, stop, sprint. Since we can't stop the sprint from here because it's not called every tick, it's only called when we um, when we press the button, this event will just make it look like we released our key. That's it. Yep. That's all I needed to do. And now to, we need to call this event somewhere, and that'll be... Um, when we can no longer sprint, which will be down here. So we need um, stop sprint. I'll call the function and that'll stop us from sprinting. So if we go here, I'll try... What did I forget? Each tick. Ah. 
uh, less than for stamina is less than zero. I guess that should be less than or equal to zero. I'll say less than 0.5 since that's our degen, right? So now we should be able to sprint. I can't tell. I don't think we are. Maybe it's with our other sprint logic. Can sprint is true the first time we press it. This should return... Oh no, I had it right. This should be if this is greater than... My bad. If it's greater than zero, that should be true. If he's moving and sprinting... And sprint should be true. Oh, did I not set is moving? I hear we set is moving when we update our animation. Let me check my other thing. Ah, this probably isn't the problem, but we also, down here, need to tell the game that, hey, he cannot sprint, and then we want to stop him from sprinting. Let me check all my other logic here. It's true. This is called event tick. So each tick we want to make sure our stamina is greater than 0.5. If that's false, we set these to false and stop the sprint. If it's true, we check to see if he is moving and sprinting. And if it is, we subtract 0.5 from the current stamina. Uh, but if it is, we add 0.1 and claim it to the max. And after a while, we set the can sprint to true. Because this should be based off of... Walk speed is 1,000. Why are these both... Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Just freaking out a little bit. Why is it not letting me sprint? Good question. I am not sure. Max stamina is 100, current stamina is 0. Setting our current stamina based off of our current stamina. Works in my test, right? Yes. Yes, it does. Let me see. Ah, this is also wrong, but we haven't even gotten to sprint yet, so I don't know.
I honestly don't know why this isn't letting me sprint. I have my movement. Update animations. Setting is moving based on whether that's true. Okay. What is our shift button? Left shift. <laughs> I hate myself right now. Um, Somebody was probably yelling at me for this. We need to make sure our current stamina isn't zero, so it actually lets us sprint. That was a really stupid mistake. It took me way too long to figure that out. So now you can see we're running. Now we're not running because it stopped us. But now we can run again, and now we can't because it stopped us. Now we can run again, and now we can't because it stopped us. Cool. How long did that take? All right, we're at 16 minutes. Um, I don't think I can get into the UI yet, but, um, since it is a similar parameter, actually what we can do is, uh, at the end of each tick, or at the beginning, I guess, this works, uh, we're going to take our current stamina and turn it into a string and print it. So you can see it's 100, we shift down, and that's adding it all back up, and we shift it and it goes back down and adds it all up. I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty small. Um, and we need to do something similar, because it is a game. We can add current health and max health, compile it. Max health will be 100. In our event graph, on event begin play, set current health to max health. Cool. Uh, and now we can print out. No, no, it wouldn't matter because we it wouldn't drop anyway. Uh, that took way longer than it should have, but now we have our, our uh, sprinting logic set up, so let's collapse all this. Oops. Missed some. Should be everything. Collapse nodes, sprinting, logic. Fun. And then this is not useful right now, not useful, not useful. Okay. In the next episode, uh, we'll be getting into displaying our current stamina as like a status bar. Uh, and uh, we're going to do that with uh, the health variables that we just made as well. So thank you so much for watching. Kind of if you had any questions or suggestions. And yeah, I will see you next time.